Hi, I'm Pat Hopper with Embedded Computing Design, and I'm back at the Qualcomm booth at Embedded World Hall 5 161 with Jeff Torrance, who's got the longest title that I know of, but let me see if I can get it right. Senior VP, GM, Industrial and Embedded IoT. Did I get that? Spot on, Pat. Awesome. Well, we're here at Embedded World, and we're talking about RG, RB3 and Gen 2, and this is obviously something that's important to us in your vision of AI. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I think um, the way you should think about the world is, on one hand, there's a tremendous opportunity to deploy AI at the edge. Yes. On the other hand, Qualcomm has amazing technology to meet that demand. There's a gap between the two, which is around usability. Mm -hmm. So in the case of RB3 Gen 2, we've evolved our RB3 Gen 1 to create a platform that enables developers to create solutions to start to bridge that gap between the opportunity and the Qualcomm technology. Okay, and then that leads us into Qualcomm Linux, right? Tell us a little bit about that. That's right, so at some level you can think of RB3 Gen 2 as the hardware platform. So we're providing you know, a, a 10x increase in the AI capability. We're providing a lot of connectivity. But now on top we have put an, an upstream version of Linux that's optimized for the industrial space so developers can take a more standard approach to developing their software and using that hardware platform to bridge the gap between our technology and the market opportunity. And with all the stuff going on with Qualcomm, you added one more new press release before we got here today, which was you bought Foundry's I.O. That's right. So tell us a little bit about that. You'll see the same trends, great technology, meeting a market need, increasing usability. So to me, I think there are two, two components. There's Foundry's per se, which we talked about. So what Foundry's is providing is a vehicle so that our customers can manage their fleet of devices, so deal with what we call FOTA, firmware updates over the air. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they can also um, audit their software and comply with the upcoming uh, European Union Cyber Resiliency Act, so it allows yeah. them to create software bombs. And then lastly, we've been talking about your industrial grade platform, we've been teasing it for a little bit, what do you have to tell, share with us about that? The way I think about that is, Qualcomm's got tremendous compute and connectivity technology from its mobile phone business. Mm -hmm. We've extended that to have more powerful compute in our PC business, and those chips we've been taking into the industrial IoT space. As we go forwards, we're going to take chips from our automotive business, which come with FUSI, ECC, better for mechanical handling, better temperature range, and we're going to make those devices available in the industrial IoT space. Great, well obviously we're at the Qualcomm booth, come by and see us at Hall 5, 161, and I'm sure you can also go to qualcomm.com and see all this information as well. Thank Thanks, you, Pat. Jeff. Cheers.